Okay, I think it's time for an update on our basement remodel. I'm walking down into our basement onto the landing, which is soon to be cut right here, and a new set of steps that are, how do I say, the slope. The slope will be the same, but the steps will be, uh, how do I say this, not slope quicker, but the run will change. Let's go down to the basement. <clears throat> This last step is a doozy, but it has a plank on it. You can see we're still in the trenches here, but you can also see that there's a lot less shoring going on. These are the permanent posts now. We've narrowed it down to just a handful where we had, I don't know, 30 before. All the new concrete foundation connections are all in all the rebar that's intertwined in the floor there has all been um, formed and poured and the forms broken down so this is a new pour here that's a new pour as of yesterday everything you see here is new the beam there that's a big steel girder that's across there is supported on both ends I think it's 20 feet long something like that it's um, cross bolted, through bolted, and there's also brackets welded on there. It's super strong. All the earthquake tie downs are in place. They're all around. We're getting ready to cut out a new window here. See that? We're going to have the same size window as that one, but additional here. It's required by city for a certain daylight amount. So there'll be a new window there. That's kind of neat. And then the egress window is going to be there. I've got to watch where I'm stepping. Tomorrow they're coming in to dig out the rest of this. In other words, they had to clear all the posts so they get the machine in here, do their jackhammer or hand dig or machine dig. I'm not sure what they're going to do. And then drive it out the ramp, which is over there. So there's a lot less posts. This is going to get dug down to this point, right about, right about where that poured footing is I think is where the floor will end up I think quite different all the plates need to be bolted some of these don't have some of them have screws in them others have bolts some are epoxied some are got nuts not sure what the deals are there but they're working on that and uh, the furnace will go back in here once the floor is poured and that'll be so nice to have heat again. It's only been two months, I guess, now. We're sort of used to not having heat, but it would be really nice to have heat. <clears throat> and then once they're done using that as a ramp, they're going to pour that last stem wall there. Uh, this is a new pour here. You can see, see the, the lighter colored foundation. And there's a step up there. I don't know what that's about. And all the new plumbing that's going to connect that one little piece right there that I'm tickling will run across here and facilitate all the plumbing for the new bathroom that's going to be right here. So the shower, vanity, and toilet will run off of that one stem. Everything else is hooked up. So Little by little, we're getting there. The plumbing to the garage has all been treated. In other words, the stout, the sewer line goes outside now. And look who's here. Oh, my. What are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? Red eyes, look at you sitting right there. Good little dog. Um, that's going to be a nice big bathroom window. We're going to frost that. It's really pretty cool. It's coming along. Lisa's out getting tile estimates and picking out the colors. Stella's sniffing. It's going to be great someday when it's all done. I just want to get the heat back. Put the heat back and just finish. That'd be fine. But um, It's going to keep on moving along. It's a lot of work. Water heater is going to get moved to from being out in the middle of the room to right here under the stairs. And then our kitchen goes in here like that. It's going to be great. Well, thanks for following along in this basement remodel. Um, extravaganza and uh, be sure to check back just wanted to document this for us and for the family
pretty great. Okay, after much more digging and much more tractoring, we've got the basement dug down. There's now a good amount of headroom. Look at that beam there. It looks like it's actually up in the air. And those are the posts that are going to remain, which will become walls. The basement's looking pretty cavernous. Finally, Cell is checking it out. Stand back here and take a nice long look at this. Looks pretty good. Okay, we're down in the basement and it's dark. What are we doing in the basement? Oh, we're turning the lights on. So we have the new lights all installed in our ceiling. Nice LEDs. You can see our cabinetry there. You can see the floors. Why don't you turn the lights on all the way, Lisa, and look at the floors. Lights are on in the hallway. Oh, no, like the lights in this room as well. Oh, okay. So this is our basement. Getting down to the final stages of a remodel. You can see our new floors are in, our HVAC is in, our window boxes are in, our windows are in, the sheetrock is in, it's painted. We still have some sconce lights to put up there. And this is going to change the lighting. We have our sconce lights on this wall already installed. You can't tell, but those are mosaic glass sconces. Zoom in on those. I don't think that's going to... There we go. Focus. Focus out. Those are really nice. Oops. <clears throat> and we have our cabinets already. Oh, yeah. This wants to show us these lights. So turn off the lights. And we have our lights under our beam. And they have night lights. The rings around the lights actually glow. You can see that or not. Pretty cool. Flip the switch one way and they light up and then they turn into night lights. So these are the doors that are now here and we're putting doors in. This is the door for the furnace room. No, this is the door for the water heater room. We have our cabinets all installed. Our refrigerator cabinet is in. Our microwave cabinet is in. Our sink cabinet is in. And our washer dryer cabinet is in. And countertops are not in yet. On here and look at our doors. We have doors in our bedroom. We have a, a new door. I'll close, the door. close the door. Never had that before. Nice door for our bedroom. Oh, and we have our nice closet doors. You have to reach underneath. There's no handle. There you go. There's double opening doors for our closet. It's pretty nice. Is there a light in there yet? Not yet. So this room is trimmed out around the window. And our case, built-in bookcase, is all trimmed out. Painted and stained. Let's show the bathroom. Oh yeah, this is our linen closet with our gimbal light shining so you can see inside Look how beautiful that is. That's going to get painted white. A few drawers. Nice rollers. And then here's our bathroom door. Very nice. And our bathroom cabinetry is coming along. The cabinets are in the wall, the recessed cabinets with our electrical, not quite done yet. Our trim around the bathroom window, which is tempered and uh, frosted or whatever you call that, opaque. So you can't, yeah. Still have to get our toilet. You know what well, I like is when you walk on this floor, it's super soft. Yeah. You feel soft on your feet. Yeah, it's soft. I'm glad nice. we didn't get the cement yeah or that we didn't stain the cement and we haven't tried the floors with the heat yet but i think it's going to be fun looks so much different in here 
very spacious, very open, very nice. Every, every, everyone's going to like it. There we go. This is going to do some exercise.